I like having fun. Yeah. I like to laugh. Yeah. I like to meet people who can make oh, it's your home to warm up. Welcome to the big show today. Office Hours is live, coming to you from Glendale, California. Here in, uh, well, in Glendale, California. Oh, yeah. Excuse me for a sec. <laughs> and it is the date. Last, is it the last day of September? Not quite. Close. Not quite. Like we are closing in. Getting through it day by day. It is, I'll give you this, a lot of people want to know. A lot of people tune into the show to find out what day it is. They don't know. Oh, they yeah. Know that. <laughs> the Daily Show. <laughs> it's The Daily Show. <laughs> one, two. And you hear a voice coming in. That can only mean one thing. It's September 29th. And it also means Reggie Watt finally making his Office Hours <laughs> debut with us today. Uh, feels and good. he is applying lotion. I am. And sunblock, because these are, this is a UV light here. I know. You, you warned me. You warned me. I a lot of guests it. like the tan. Uh, behind me, my stalwarts, my guys, fucking guys, yeah. the dudes, the yeah. team, the yeah. trinity, DJ Doug Palm. Good horning. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Oh. That's, that's different. That's the new one. It's what good you horning. Ram? It's now good horning. And Vic, Victor <laughs> Burger the Fourth. What sip, everybody? Yes, what sip, everybody? Let's take a sip of our beverage. <coughs> Beverly good Hills. Morning. Too bad you're not filming there. That would be beverage. Uh, would that be more convenient for you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry to push you. So I don't know where you live, and we're not going to give your address out. We're not like one of those shows where we're. Doxing our oh, yeah. guests. Oh, you're, you're, yeah. not, you're not one of those standard shows that does that. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. A I didn't ask you to do whiteface. So if you want to keep, <laughs> hey guys, check it blending. out. Look, hi guys, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> you recognize me now? <laughs> um, you can never I don't know where you live, but was it a haul to come east to come Glendale? I mean, it was. It was a good eleven minutes. I oh. shaved. I shaved it down to nine. Oh well, then you're. You sound like you live just down the hill. Yeah, I do. I do. I don't see you at the local markets. No, I, I go to special markets. I bet you do. Underground. Uh, listen, I'll tell you something, folks. Vic and Doug both brought in these synthesizer machines here. They're 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 like two little boys on Christmas morning with hope, and they're so happy. Of course, I'm seething about it. Of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Well. <laughs> Can't fight the seether. Man. It pulls. <laughs> what it does is it pulls focus from wah. But that's okay. I think it enhances you. What man. are you drinking there? That, is that I'm, mud from my backyard? Yeah, I saw this puddle back there, and I just happened to have this tall jar. That and uh, that is definitely from a special market. Yeah, this is from a special market. It's got jojoba in it. I don't even know what jojoba oh, is. Oh, oh, oh. What is that? Santa Claus's favorite drink? Oh, oh, come oh, on, oh. Get, get out of here, I'm Tim. I'm sorry. What are you? I'm I'm caffeinated and I'm ready to have fun with Reggie. <laughs> Reggie, I've known many many years. Uh, that's true. And you haven't you don't have an age today. I don't know what the, what's going on with you. I, you look, I, it's the lotion. Yeah, <laughs> Billy lotion is what they used to call me. <laughs> Billy lotion. <laughs> You're quick. No, 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 no. Not no. That's just really my name. <laughs> <laughs> this is Watts because Watts is so perfect for you, Watts. Energy. I, I agree. agree. Energy. I love Enjoy it. I love it. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh my god. I was going to ask that. you about. Thank you for that. What? I mean, I got lots to talk to you Ooh, about, but what? do you? And I've told this story on the podcast or TV. What it, it is a TV show, by the way. I want you to know that. Of course. Where you people are watching it at home on their big screen TVs. Yeah. They're watching it. Some people are throwing big parties and they're having the big no blow idea. up TVs outside. That's insane. Bake, uh, barbecuing and grilling and watching the show. I can't wait for the fan photo book. <laughs> but do you do you remember the kind of December? Was that song? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> people are cooking and eating and watching this on TV. <laughs> <laughs> A little late. Uh, Ireland, <laughs> Dublin, Ireland. Ireland, yeah. Of course. Yeah, man. Brody Stevens. Oh, man. 
in rest in peace uh do you remember i don't I, maybe you weren't there for this specific moment but brody stevens i feel like you were if you weren't pretend you were okay you're a great actor yes, you're sure, a great sure. improviser mm -hmm. sure you roll with it sure brody stevens backstage another comic is up on stage mm -hmm. and there's a big tent yes you know a couple hundred people in there and Brody's famous for uh, tambourine work. That's in his right. Act. He is really good. And we were in the back, and Brody was backstage warming up while the guy was on stage. Oh and all you could hear through this thing was... You got it! Back in this oh this poor, poor comedian is up there Wee! just like, what the I hell do, is going I, on? I do remember that. But we had because a nice I'm time out edgy? there. It was great. It was like all of our friends got yeah, booked for that. I know. We are all out there. Um, you're here uh, out of your great, uh, gracious appreciation for my body of work. But of course. Also. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. You'll be performing at Desert. Dessert days. Dessert days, yes. <laughs> Dessert days. Mm, oh, so we're going to have fun there. Ice cream and cookies ice, and everything. Ice creams and cookies. <laughs> Pies. Yes. So Desert Day is out uh, who knows where these days. Is it the same place it was last year, Matt? Always. Lake Paris, sure. Oh, they just keep it there. Yeah. That's cool. It was beautiful originally grounds. somewhere else. It's not like the mountain in Krull, you know, that disappears at dawn and reappears this somewhere side, else. This reference, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Guys, get on it. Krull. Do people -R -R swim in Krull? Do people swim Nick in the Krull. lake there at the Desert Days? Are the people swimming? I think they do. I've heard rumor. Huh. Uh, the pounding. When is that? You don't know. It's this weekend. Oh, there you go. Perfect time. Per yeah, that's why I know, because it's this weekend. <laughs> Perfect promotional opportunity Saturday, here for you. Saturday, but frankly, Saturday, people listening Saturday, to the show either are going Saturday, or they're not. I don't know. That's what true. I found. <laughs> yeah. I, I found that to be true of most shows. Is there any reason to promote anything? Like uh, just. Uh, oh, yeah, to promote it. Uh, I got to. Well, I mean, well, I'm I just saying in general, like, yeah. does it do any good to even bring oh, anything up? Yeah. I mean, you know, with a festival, it's hard to say because you figure people probably have already decided to go. It's it's like, oh, last minute, I better go. I bet you there's some last minute. I was minute in New York a couple months ago, a month ago, and there were big Desert Days poster flyers what? all over New York. Like, That's pretty cool. I mean, I every time I mention Desert Days, everyone freaks out about it, and I don't really know anything no. about it. So I guess it's a very beloved festival. Um, let me do a, just a quick bit of business here. Of course. Uh, you and know sponsor how sponsor time. Spon no no sponsors, excited. actually. Come on. Um, Jesus, but what a show is it? The big news broke the other day that um, it was very funny because podcast these very seldom read uh, online publications like Podcast Business News Network and <laughs> Radio uh, Gazette or whatever picked up the story that uh, Forever Dog, which is a podcast network, yeah, which who knows even what that means? I don't know. Uh, has uh, acquired Office Hours. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love. The, they use the acquisition. <laughs> was really us and the best show and um, double threat. Tom Sharpling's juggernaut. Ooh, um, and they refer to it as very popular. They did refer to it as very popular. Podcast. That's, That's pretty good. Unknown sources. That. Yeah, very unknown popular. sources <laughs> confirmed. Did, did they ever use the word mainstay? Winning. Mainstay, <laughs> legendary <laughs> podcast. Uh, and and of course, it's created a tremendous amount of confusion. <laughs> Gotta, gotta Come get on, him a cough, guys. A cough sorry, mic. Guys. It is I'm just sorry. it. People go, is the show professional? I go, eh, it's not. You know, there we're working some things out. But, <laughs> professional light. Yeah. Uh, imagine if, uh, imagine if you, if David Letterman had Paul Schaefer over there yakking up a lung into the mic. I know. It's I'm just. Sorry. It's sorry. very. It's just. It's coffee. very hard to. It's all I'm saying is very hard to picture that. I know. I get a lot of phlegm. Or Reggie like, oh. Watts himself oh. next to James Corden doing such a thing. True. You'd be out of there in two minutes. <laughs> James, that's so funny. <laughs> or Doc Severinsen. Imagine Doc Severinsen. Oh, or the the doc. <clears throat> Excuse me, Johnny. I'm sure it's happened. It's happened. And Once. your throat is clear, my friend. Clean as a whistle. Clean. <laughs> Going clear. <laughs> well, my throat back, went clear. Back up to this. Now, of course, they get, they're going through all their obligatory uh, coughing sound effects. <laughs> it's the you mention it, we play it policy. Yes, that's right. Oh, believe me, the other day, uh, I offhandedly mentioned uh, oh, no. frogs. Oh, God. Right? No. And 
a good 30 seconds goes by, and then we get sheep in my ear, right? I and got I go, frogs. what the hell is the sheep about? And he goes, it's ready. the closest thing I can find to a frog. <laughs> I go, well, what? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> An infinite sheep. It's like a machine gun sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cockadoodle. No yeah, problem. <laughs> Cockadoodle dead. It's because you have it don't mean you need to use it. That's true. Restraint. Learn from it. Here's the, but the, the the news caused tremendous upheaval in the community. It did. Well, people want to know what's going to change. Are you guys moving? Uh, am I still going to get it on the Patreon and all this stuff? Oh. I go, and the message is nothing apparent will change to you. Great. The show, uh, if you don't Subscribe to Patreon, which is remarkable. <laughs> if you do, it's just stunning. It's it, it's it. What it is is deception and deceit, and all the things that Judas and Peter Iscariot were known for back in the day. Uh, you know, Jesus. Uh, what was they say? Uh, Peter denied Jesus. Peter denied Jesus. And Judas, he uh, deceived. You know he. What's the word? He, uh, he, he betrayed. He betrayed. He betrayed. Oh, there we and go. that's what, that's who you are if you're out there listening to the show of freeloading, and you're just a combo of Peter and Judas. You're Petus in my book. Ooh, Petus. <laughs> Petus. Ugh. You deny Gross. and you and you betray. I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm a Christian. So if you're a Patreon <laughs> member, Patreon.com/slash/OfficeHoursLive, you will see Amen. no change. There'll be no ads. Amen. There'll be no. Anything, but for the people that are deceivers and betrayers, <laughs> the the pe petuses out there, yeah. God bless America. Then you uh, will get some different ads. And listen, it's all about sharing this. Sorry, man. <laughs> I just got very you. Now we're all. Now we all have it psychosomatically. Uh, uh, yeah, in our I know. Heads. I know. Psychosims. So you're saying everything's going to change on the ads? It's nothing but ads. Our first ad is for <laughs> nothing but ads. Gu uh, guitar rig. Oh yeah. Proline guitar rig. Whoa, NBI. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, let me just let me. Uh, I like to welcome a zoomer, and uh, because people, that's part of the, what the show's all about. Let's just say hi to somebody. That we'll get to city of the day, activity of the day. Everything we're gonna get uh, Reggie talking about whatever he wants to talk mm. about and so much more. It's gonna be a fun ride. So buckle Hello, up. Hello, everybody. What's Slippery you? Sam, you're on the air. I don't like the sound of that at all. Hello, 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 hello. How we doing, everybody? Slippery Sam, Sam Ooh. standing in front of his own Slippery Sam. Wait, look at that shirt too. Though. What's I going know on? that artist. That's uh, that's the guy from Texas. Oh, that's yeah, duck. repping my duck shirt. Yeah. There's a duck shirt now. You know yeah. Duck? Yeah, so I can't believe it hasn't come up yet. Duck is a Twitch streamer, and he is amazing, and everybody should check him out. I think okay. it's Cartoon Mess Live. Okay. We um, well, he's he's a proprietary to our show. Okay. <laughs> right. That's news to me, that he's off there doing other work, and now oh, we have a big progress. Okay. He's going to get it now. Um yeah, well, I wanted to get into I know we got some gear heads here, so I wanted to show off some of my gear I've got here. I've got um, a little mini synth here as well. Oh, it <laughs> really oh that looks good. <laughs> I that can't cool, quite see it. It's a disappearing synth. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. There we go. That makes yeah. sense. Oh, that's that's a, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, it's a, uh, it's a Korg. Uh, we can only take your word for it. <laughs> 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 that's a, it's, he's using optical camouflage. This guy's ahead. <laughs> This one I think is going to do a little better. This Ooh. is my SP404. Oh, I like that. That's classic. Sampler here. Classic. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful so modified OG. keys on top, too. They're going to get Reggie a napkin for the drool. Uh -oh. Oh, drool police. <laughs> <laughs> Any other uh, keyboards yeah. or doodads you want to show off? <laughs> <laughs> or are we pretty much up, up to speed on your synths? Well, that's it for gear. Um, oh, good news. I, did have a, I got a pun. Whoa. We got a pun. We love puns. <laughs> puns are the one. I've got a few, but I'm going to save some of the good ones for the next. American what, for, for the fucking Twitch show uh, that Duck's got going on? Oh, there you go. <laughs> We're live. No, i got to save it for AmeriPon Idol. Um, AmeriPon Idol. We 
Reggie, stop what? watching the show on YouTube, okay? <laughs> I know. I know that we're broadcasting live. Guys. Okay. You guys could see this? <laughs> All right. Pun what away. Did the, what did the Rastafarian pirate say? Guess? Any oh, guesses? Uh, Rastafarian. He said, uh, what are you doing with yourself there, you dumb thief? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something with R in it? I, I. Uh, what? what oh, it? I get it. I, I, get I. It. Oh. Did you say I and I or I, I? I, I. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Very good. You could have gone with Popeye, too, if you wanted to do uh, something different than pirates, which are pretty played out. <laughs> Pirate, the pun The pun is always R, so you have to say sailor. <laughs> say I, I, Captain. I. All right. We'll, we'll, I, get, the, I, we'll I, get the room working on that. Yeah, we'll get the writer's room working, working on it. On it. We'll, we'll, uh, I like it. Okay. I like it, though. Thank you, Sam. Matt, let's do. Uh, oh, the other thing, the other little bit of business is uh, two things. Office hours East with the great John Glazer. Oh, you familiar with John? Glazer? Yeah, he got glazed. Yeah, he's awesome. Uh, John Glazer is Loves back gear. tomorrow. That's Sick. Friday night. We do a whole other broadcast from New York. Listen up, and Mister. That's great. It is great. You move the whole production over there. Yeah. Whip, whip. We pack everything up. That's insane. Truck it up. Is that going to change with the new acquisition? <laughs> <laughs> well, frankly, yes. Um, the Skinner uh, painting, uh, which is not here, has it been already boarded up? Boarded up. <laughs> I can find a picture of it. But you could just Remember in the, in the uh, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein when they're, they're opening up that box and getting in there uh, with all that uh, the, 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 the hay? The filigree. <laughs> Filigree, nice. Let's go. That's, oh, that's what's happening. Oh, that is gorge. Yeah, so we're uh, raffling that off for, for charity. Damn. And the uh, the charity ends tomorrow. So details down there in the description of the YouTube video if you'd like to enter that contest. Thanks a lot. Bye. It's the city of the day. The city of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Very smooth. Chicago. Nantucket. Guests like to, pre uh, to predict the, or to guess the city. Cleveland. That's not Cleveland. Oh, that's uh, San Diego. Oh, is it? No. I don't know. The city of the day is brought to you by uh, Vapor Vision Fart Detection Glasses. Whoever oh, okay. smelt it, dealt it? I don't think so. The mystery and the lies are over, folks. Now you can positively identify exactly who farted with vapor vision fart detection glasses. These stylish tactical sunglasses are uh, optical thermal sensors and infrabrown vision to spot a fart before it can reach your nose. We all know that some air biscuits ugh, don't stink <laughs> in these high-tech glasses. Also, can also tell you exactly how much methane, fecal matter, and stench a fart contains. Vapor visions are also good for precision crop dusting and aiming your own gas with pinpoint accuracy. Now you'll know when to run away or breathe easy with vapor vision fart detection glasses. That's VFDG. Order tomorrow and get a free set of nose plugs absolutely free by going to visualsilence.fart slash tranquility. Okay. I would like a personal request to the ad department if we could no longer use the word fart in our uh, copy. Oof. I think it's, it's a, uh, I'm, I'm not offended by it. I just find it to be a bit comedically pedestrian. I yes. have to play the jingle. Yes, you do. Vapor. Vision. Vapor vision. Detection classes. Very, very wow. good. Interesting. I just think you could have a lot more fun with, with terms like gas. Yeah. Or other Pet, uh, petulance. Wind. wind. <laughs> yeah, wind. Make, make wind. Make wind. Just yeah. a note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like the word fart the best of all the gas words. Why? I just. The... It's very. Uh, well, now Zucker I know. Brother -y. Now I know. It's very Mad Magazine. I'm fart. Mad Magazine is Toot. one of the greats. Yeah. Well, sure. Oh, the methane release. Uh, let us. Uh, oh, do we want to do the activity of the day? Is that oh, well? That usually comes after the city of the day. Oh my yeah, friend. sorry. Oh right. City of the day. Uh, <laughs> I was Sylvia? About that. Sylvia, would you be our city of the day? <laughs> my original city of the day bailed on me. Ooh. Oh, it Christianed on you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi, Sylvia. Um, Look I at her expecting... coming from a TV screen. That's a neat Whoa. new invention. Oh, I love this. You're awesome. What, what show are you on right now? What Dawson's Creek or something? Um, we are, so we're all uh, watching Jur- uh, Jurassic, oh. Dominion. <laughs> Jurassic <laughs> yeah. World Dominion. They're all the same. <laughs> I Honestly, there's too many words. Yeah. Um, City of the Day. I'm... I'm in San Francisco. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Bay Area. Uh, I could go through a lot of things I know about San Francisco, but why? <laughs> you ever spend yeah, any time up we, there? I did. Yeah. yeah. I did. We all know Sketchfest. where it is. Yeah, we all know where it is. Um, yeah, I stopped doing Sketchfest, you know? I did, I did I'd too. I sort of just like, well, I could just go up to San Francisco and do a show, yeah. you know, in my own time. Yeah, and I, I never did sketches. No. Sylvia, in your in your finger is that is that pot? No. You're supposed to say it's not pot. It's yes. a clove cigarette. <laughs> it's a clove. It's a clove cigarette. That's just some Bay Area shit, it's, Northern California. It's not pot. Can you do a Bill Maher? Not pot. Bill Maher. I... That's Bill Maher. Oh, oh, is that what he said? Yeah. It's not pot. It's a damn it. I can't do it. It's not pot. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Be, take away you from your city. You gotta be more more arrogant. I know. So it's totally, not totally not it's self satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> We were, Vic made me watch the latest, uh, we won't go into it too deeply, but, oh, uh, okay. San Francisco. San Francisco, wonderful. Right there in the city, how's the city doing? Is it a beautiful day? It is a gorgeous day. I'm in the Mission District. It's sunny with a slight, cool breeze coming in from the sea. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. What can I say? I'm smoking my clove. Yep. (laughs) Um, My kitten is outside, just jumping around in the garden. Yeah. It's oh, a beautiful yeah. Aren't day. you living the life? What do you do for a living that you can just be uh, living Tech, around? Come on. Tech. It's a beautiful day. Tech. Uh, you working for Apple? Apple. No, I'm not. Orange? Oh, you're working for Microsoft. <laughs> I'm, I'm Apple. I'm, a, uh, I'm currently a trophy wife. <laughs> a trophy wife? <laughs> so you just hand out trophies? <laughs> My husband said you should have this. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm in school full time. School. Oh, nice. For medical? Yeah. Medical? Medical? No. Um, oh, okay. Science. That's silly. Well, science. Well, she's like, medical? No. <laughs> no, that's gross. Science. <laughs> Duh. Obviously. Science. Biotech. Biotech? <laughs> hey, listen, they figured everything out with science already, so you don't have to bother. They right? did. They've got I'm, it all I'm down. I'm studying geology. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Nat Geo. Guess what? We got a rock. Guess what? Here's another rock. <laughs> yeah. They old. <laughs> Turns out rocks ain't that new. How do we? How did these rocks form? <laughs> Don't worry about it. We know already. Yeah. We already know. <laughs> how about that? Uh, that space? Uh, the, the thing where they not, la, la, they uh, knocked the meat the blah. yeah asteroid. Oh asteroid. yeah, where they landed on that. Uh, they yeah, didn't that, land. They go boom. Oh yeah, yeah they went boom. Sucker. They went boom. And then the Italian space the spacecraft was right behind. Said, I think of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's true. <laughs> I want to hey, know. You're did, Wait, you didn't hear about this and you're studying science and geology? What? You don't know what we're talking about? This is space, man. It was crazy. Matt, maybe you can Earth find the video of it because they have a camera going towards this thing. Yeah. And it's just going like, doot, 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 yeah. and then gone. Yeah. Spider webs. And then there's this little Italian ship that's taking an outside photograph. Why are these it. Italians taking pictures? Because they're Italian, huh? Yeah. Eh? They hang out the behind and they take the picture. You could have gone a little more racist with it, if, but uh, well, fascist. They could have yeah. got a little bit more fascist. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> At least fascist. A picture. It was hurt. I'm not gonna take a nice picture. I'm gonna take a nice picture. <laughs> then I go veer away so I don't hit. Yeah, you. And I have a nice gelato, <laughs> a Ferrari. What do you got? You got it, Matt? Yes. I need you to explain it to me. I'm confused. That's not it. That's not that it? it. You're looking for San Wait. Francisco? Oh, you're looking for the footage. <laughs> oh yeah, check this out. <laughs> I think now you only need to play <laughs> the. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it goes. Uh... Okay, so check this out. There's the <gasps> mass coronal ejection. No, but there's a shot Wait, from this... this ship. What? That goes. Oh yeah, this is the there's the onboard camera. It's shot. like that's it. It's that's like four not... frames of just getting closer and closer. Ding, ding, but there's ding. also there's an out there's a the Italian one took uh, some distant photographs to you, but. 
it's fine. So you didn't just come up with Italy out of nowhere. You were no, there is some I'm a science noid. Stop showing this video because it's, it's not so the one. cool though. It looks like get away from me, push. So what it is, Matt, is uh, and to all the listeners who don't know, including actual science. Oh, that's students. the impact. Yeah, that's the well, Italian I'm spacecraft uh, shot. I'm gonna be over here. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna stay out of the way. I hear already. I might yeah. as well. <laughs> so what NASA did is yes. they said, what about a plan where we can knock into one of these asteroids? Let's say, worst case scenario, there's one of these boys coming our way. Yeah. They go, what would be cool is literally like in that Armageddon movie, yep. they fire off a ship, they fire off a satellite or something, and it knocks into it, and it changes the course of the asteroid. Yes, so in, first, in our history. So first, uh, it changes certainly the course <laughs> of history. <laughs> Can they aim one so it knocks it into like an enemy? So it blow up what Russia or something? Ooh, the hidden optically camouflaged <laughs> ships that are just outside our orbit. So first step in doing such a thing uh, is to see if that idea even works. And yeah. they, so they, I don't know, it looked like because it hit. Yeah. And it's like, how is that thing going to change anything? I don't, I don't know, but it's but space. It's the butterfly effect. It's it's the butterfly effect. The butterfly it's effect. We changed its trajectory by two centimeters, which equals 72 miles by this distance. Meanwhile, there's some other Next planet guy. Well, Xylor, it looks as if our, that meteor is going to miss us by just 10 <laughs> feet. I guess we can hold off all of this preparation. Wait a minute. Now. Something's changed. What? Our calculations now predict the asteroid to hit with 100% certainty. Wait a minute. Asteroids Commander. just don't move on their own. <laughs> Someone's responsible for this. Track that trajectory. Uh-oh. <laughs> appears to be a small planet in a solar system. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone previously undetected. That's so dumb. That's how we kill ourselves. <laughs> We should have leave leave things be in the great <laughs> wide universe. Move an asteroid, kill a planet. Yeah. Um, so that's the story with that. Do we have it now, Matt? Yes. This this is a this is just remarkable. Look, this is real. This is not some animation. Boing. Ah. And that's the size of a football stadium. And you know what's so sad? There was a puppy on board of that. that, that oh. Ship. <laughs> why oh. did they? Why did they? Put the puppy on there. Snuck in. It snuck. Oh, it's snuck oh, it's on. snuck on. Snuck like someone on. put some like snacks. <laughs> Stow away. Because it does have that like little garage <laughs> hatch with nothing inside of it. It's weird, but there's just nothing. It's a compartment. Nothing inside. And the front of it is this little uh, bay window, and the dog's just yeah, sitting there. Yeah, totally, totally, totally. <laughs> yeah. Gone. Very sad. It's like, boy, do I need to pee? That looks like a great place to. Oh. Mm. Ooh, finally land. Woof, woof. <laughs> really dumb. Let's take another Zoomer. Oh, I'm sorry, Vic. I'll oh, do what? deference to you. Oh, yeah. Let's do Vic's uh, activity of the real day. Real quick. I'm running out of activities, but here's that. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Is that positive? <laughs> so today's activity of the day, all you have to do is take a 10 to 15 minute walk, but... No headphones, no phone. Leave it at home. I love it. Take a walk. Enjoy the sounds. Okay? I do that. There you go. I mean, people say, what's your secret? I lo I've lost weight. I don't know if you've noticed. What? <laughs> <laughs> you look great. People say, I say, there's two things I do. I do the intermittent fasting, so I don't eat before noon. I don't eat after six. Oh, I love that. I'm yeah. going to do that. And it, and then the other thing I do is at least three times a week, if more, more if I can, I I do about I do more like a forty-five minute uh, uh, work, uh, run than walk. But the key is I don't do headphones. Nice. I, so I use it. A, I use it as a morning. It's an idea generator. If yeah. I'm, you know, it's. In, I get tons of ideas. I get, I get so many great ideas. Yeah. I have but so many great ideas. If I want to get, if I'm stuck on something or if I want to work on something, yeah. I do the walk, the blood starts flowing, and bang, Ooh. bang. I'm taking out my phone, doing voice memos. Doot, doot, doot. This, oh, yeah. this, that. Well, that's nice. No more fart. Uh, you, no more uh, use of the word fart in the uh, office hours. Send to Doug. Well, that's the thing. You got to leave your phone at home. That's no, the, no, no. I, well, oh, I do need. Oh, okay. Well, you could take a, a recorder, a yeah. micro recorder. No, the phone's fine. Okay. It's not. I do so love Man, it's just the activity. idea of it in your hand, though, man. Yeah, see? It reminds you of all the times you've used it, that rectangle. I do check. After I do my run, which is about 30 minutes, Damn. I will check the, the, the phone. So cool you can run, man. You don't run? You. I have so bad knees, so it sucks. I can't really. But I, I can feel it I can walk. I can, like, like speed walk, you know, or, like, go up hills or hike now or something. Now, you were... Um, walk, walk, walk. 
I, I follow you on the Instagram. Yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. and you were really, uh, while a couple, maybe a year or so ago, you were really, lit, you were doing some serious weightlifting. Yeah, yeah. Have you... I, have you not done it, or I, you're not like publishing it so much anymore? Well, What's, no, I was doing it. I was working with a dude. I was doing like six days a week. Yeah. Um, but it was a lot of money. And interesting. Uh, and That's after the while, thing. Yeah. And now that I'm ending my uh, my late late show thing, yeah. my business manager's like, "Hey, you might want to consider saving some money because mm. you don't know what's coming next." And I was like, "You know what? You're right." And then I was like, "You know what? When I was 27, I designed my own diet because yeah. my bass player one day was like, oh, you're looking pretty chubby because I've always been like yeah. fluctuating weight all my life." And was, he's like, "You look pretty chubby." And I was like, "You know what? Fuck you." And then I <laughs> I started riding a stationary bike in the basement of the house I was living in, and then I designed my own diet and like restricted calories and I was being active and then I lost a shit ton of weight yeah. got down to really really good weight so I figured why can't I get back into that mindset again so it's been hard but I'm well I mean you can there. still uh you can still lift weights yeah you know I, I have you're not so that, dire um, that you can't belong to a gym no no I I can do it but I I am <laughs> I am going to I actually have I, I, I'm getting back into a gym membership i just haven't had a gym membership in ages i don't care for b having a being at the gym i, I mean like i have it. stuff at home but i don't i'm not motivated enough that's the problem i'm thinking about getting fully ripped exactly. and you're tight you know oh, what I mean? yeah it's Cause fun because the hard part is losing all this big blubber oh, i know right? i know that's and my that, problem so right you'd now. go and work out and be like well, this isn't doing anything because it's yeah. hidden by the fat yes 100 percent. and so now i'm thinking what if i got tight and oh. fucking ripped. Oh, yeah. Fucking Something like that. Just the way. Huge. From the beginning. Just feels like, yeah. Yeah. Just and then I put oil on I'm me and beginning everything. Beginning yeah, a little oil. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's good. It's good for your but kid, I don't, too. But I need a routine. I need like a, a light, like a, a weight routine. Matt, you can help me with that. Yeah, yeah. There's a, I've got some options <laughs> for you. You don't need much, Tim. Just get some uh, barbells or, or hand handbells or whatever they're called. Yeah, a great ass. No yeah, dumbbells. Tubular bells. Handbells. Tubular bells. Sleigh bells. But then I, because I, I, I have a little gym that I can go to, but uh, I get there and I'm like, all right, I guess I'll just start doing this, and I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. You have I a little you. gym that you can go to. <laughs> the hell? I want to hear more about this little gym. Well, we belong to a pool, and you oh, can go there. There's uh, a little. They have a nice cool. little facility. Oh, a pool is okay. good. So now swimming, that's the way. Yeah, this that's is not a sponsor. Is, yeah. This is not a sponsor. There's an app called Copilot. Oh, Copilot. And it's hundred bucks a month. That's true. And they give you a workout. Reggie's All you not going to be able to swing that. That's true. Um, not after Corden goes. <laughs> no, when Corden's <laughs> gone, I got it. I go, ain't going to be able to do that. But I appreciate the advice, though. So. so what is? Let's well, let's take a zoomer, and then we'll okay. keep talking. Matt, sure, I want to sure. hear more about that. Well, I'll tell it? you about it. It's okay. called Copilot. It's great. Okay. They craft a whole routine. And um, Phil Braun, our old pal Phil Braun. Oh, here. well, Phil brings up. Are you religious? Uh, I used to be. <laughs> yeah, really? I was a calf. Growing you were up. Catholic? Yeah, I was Catholic Amen. growing up. Me too. Amen. Oh, yeah. Catholic school? Yeah. Yeah, me too. CCD, Christ. man. Well, I didn't have to go to CCD because I, I went to CCD. Catholic school had the religion oh, class. I didn't, sorry, I didn't have, I didn't go to Catholic school. I went to CCD. Well, it's interesting. Phil, are you, uh, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Phil brought up, can I talk about what you brought up on, uh, on Twitter today? Hello. Yeah, we had a great discussion this morning. Yeah, this is an interesting discussion. Let me see if I can find the, uh, the, the beginning of it. And maybe uh, Reggie can weigh in because I think you'd have thoughts on this. What the hell pounds. is it? Um, well, it was just the thought of you know Jesus, who was this omniscient deity, and then all of a sudden he was thrust into the body of a baby who can't <laughs> ambulate, he can't uh, he can't understand words, and that must have just been a just a total freak out for him, I would assume. Oh, yeah, and what like what's the it. point of that? Why not bring him back full grown? Well, you know, he's got to like experience know. it. It's like it's like it's basically like, hey, you know what they're going through? It's like, yeah, yeah, I know. It's like, yeah, but do you? It's like, nah, okay, I'm sending you down there. It's like, oh shit, this is harder than I thought. Basically, that's the vibe. But it seemed like also I pointed out that it seems like a risky move in general because you know infant mortality rates were oh, so yeah, bad back like then. That is true. Actually. And what a waste of everybody's effort if he goes and croaks in the in the uh, manger. <laughs> well, maybe they tried several times, and that was the only time it was successful. That's interesting. I had stuff oh. in my throat. Couldn't it be easy for just Jesus to kind of stroll in one day in Galilee, being like, uh, hey, let's see this here. And yeah. You walk over walk water out. and you'll see Yeah, like he Russia. just appears. Like, yeah. Just walk out of the woods, nobody would know the difference. Totally. Yeah, because there were so many people. What? I mean, random people. What woods, Phil? Uh, the Galilean woods. That's true. <laughs> no, no. The Galilean forest. What is he, in the forest. Alpine forest? Yeah, the forests of Galilee are gorgeous. Jesus, yeah. man. Yeah, it's like the new Jesus. Jesus Christ. It's, it's the new Austria. <laughs> 
It is the whole thing seems a little bizarre to me. You know, Jesus the whole story. Christ. The whole thing. I well, you know, if you want to get bizarre, check out Zachariah Sitchin. And start reading about that dude. What's that about? Tell us. It's about like you know. Let's do the Joe Rogan podcast. Okay, right. now. So uh, listen, after MMA, and wow. I trained for several years, and uh, wow. you know, I got like really good. But Telford's looking really good this year. No, um, that's a good question. Basically, <laughs> he is, his whole thing is ancient aliens. Right, oh, so like right. all the biblical stories are about actual deities. So like uh, Ningisu and uh, Ninhata and all these like gods were actually beings from another planet called Nibiru, Planet X or the Twelfth Planet. Right. Blah 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 blah. But whatever you think about that, it is kind of interesting stuff because it's like wow. Sure. Well, a lot of these are are ancient wow. myths that yeah. get mm -hmm. re repurposed for the exactly since uh, Sumerian times. Uh, Phil, did you have anything else you wanted to run past us today? Well, I do have a little bit of a bone to pick uh -oh. uh, with this new uh, Forever Dog uh, Ooh, announcement what? that you guys made. Forever Dog, you can't uh, say about the dog in the uh, spaceship that crashed into the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that dog right. is not well, Forever. Well, that's not the issue mm -hmm. that I have. Oh, okay. what's your, your oh, did issues I, did in I, spaceship uh, Did I anticipate your angle here? <laughs> okay, go no, ahead. no, you, you didn't. That, well, I mean, not really, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, if you remember uh, a while back, George Clooney, um, you know, he gave $14 million to his uh, best friends. And I was one of those recipients and got a little <laughs> seed money to start yeah, a business. That's, right. That's, that's right. right. You did get that. And uh, through a couple of uh, trial and errors, I came up with this business. And my business is called Forever Dog. Yeah. Uh, so I got a little issue with this podcasting Forever Dog thing. Oh. What does your uh, business do? Yeah, what does it do? Well, you know, I mean, we're it's we're, we're coming up on Christmas time here, and uh, you've got your loyal. Your speaking of coincidence, your loyal dog that uh, you love him. You know, laying by the fire at Christmas time, he's sleeping underneath the tree. And mm. well, what if your dog passes away? Whoa! Uh, you, you don't you miss him terribly. Yeah. So I came up with a business where uh, through what I know about preserving deceased dogs is creating a dog that will be there forever, every Christmas from here on out. Are you talking about taxidermy? And Simple taxidermy that's been done? No, not exactly tax taxidermy because I don't know the particulars of taxidermy. <laughs> what, uh, what I do... Okay. What do you what do? You, do? <laughs> what do you do? Well, I take the dog and I just fill it full of sackcrete. <laughs> you fill it full of what? Crete? Sackcrete? You know what sackcrete is? Oh, it's like is it concrete? Crete? Is it very uh, quick drying concrete? <laughs> oh, gotcha. Right. <laughs> How quick we talking? How quick we talking? Oh, I mean, probably like fifteen minutes or so. That's and pretty the dog quick. is going to be. Yeah. He's not going to go anywhere. He's going to stay still. Of course, it's a heavy dog because he's dead. Yeah, and then next thing you know, you can lay <laughs> him underneath see. your tree. Yes. Uh, he Whoa. looks like he's peacefully resting there, and it's just a you know gives you a happy feeling at Christmas time you, there. So, do you put Scotch Guard or something on the outside so it doesn't fully decompose, or like how do you ha handle the decomposition? I don't perform that service, but certainly you. somebody could obtain some, and uh, sure. you know we've we've got so you're not your samples. Your promise, uh, uh, your promise, the thing that you're, <laughs> you're the promise you're offering is to. Uh, is to present this dog full of cement, but you're not guaranteeing <laughs> any kind of rot won't occur, and that's somebody else's problem. What a, what what exactly is forever about that? He's just not going anywhere. He's, he's I think all I can tell you is nobody's going to move him. Is that the tagline? <laughs> he's forever not, dog. He's just not going anywhere. Phil, can I? Um, I have, I'm interested in this service, um, yeah. but what I don't like about taxidermy and, and apparently what you offer is that the dogs are stiff and hard. Is there a way to make the dogs kind of wet? Doesn't like, sound like can it. They, can they stay kind <laughs> of articulating? Can you move them around and stuff so they feel well, kind of I mean, warm and wet? You have to choose uh, the position right in the beginning. You have to choose Yeah, it. I want to be able well, to pose. I, yeah, I, I get to them right as they die. Mm -hmm. So I need to be there. If they die, you need to call me so I can get there in like 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, so it really only applies to people in the Atlanta area. For now. Ah, but I, okay. I don't want them like standing up. It's kind of creepy if they're standing up looking yeah, at you. Like, you know, agreed. let them, let them lay where they, where they just are found. And, and yeah. it just looks more natural that way. And like they're asleep. So, yeah. well, I'll, I'll, uh, thank you, Phil. Um, good yeah. luck on you good to you. So forever like, dog at, is a podcast you know. company. It's almost like Apple records with the, the Beatles and Apple computers, two very yeah. separate things. Right. So I think you're in the clear there, but, and I'm sure okay. sounds like forever dog has been around longer. So if, if anything, it it's on does. you. It does. Precedence. 
So. Well, I appreciate that. Just clearing that up. You might be hearing from our lawyers, in fact. Um, so. This is a hundred. I'm I'm sure I've told this story before, Mitt, but it's probably been a while. But this is a hundred percent true. Oh, cool. Uh, that my parents, 20, 10, 15 years ago, living down in Florida at a, a condo building in a condo building, oh, yeah. um, and the the building had a rule about dogs. You could only have small dogs. You couldn't have medium or big sized dogs. Okay. Makes sense. There was a gentleman moving in to that complex who had a beloved dog that he couldn't bring with him into the <clears throat> complex. I'm sorry. And <laughs> what he decided to do, again, 100% true, is he had the dog put down and taxidermied to be with him in his... Oh, my Lord. Is Lord. that crazy? What a psycho. What? That is so insane. I know. Perfectly healthy dog from all accounts. Just give it to someone else. Couldn't he just have their legs removed so it gets under the weight limit? <laughs> yeah, remove the head. Yeah, yeah remove really the head. Heavy. Oh, a headless heavy. dog. Nothing scarier yeah, than that. That's true. Like those Boston Dynamics. No, you keep thing. the head and you lose the body. <laughs> <laughs> I got a real life Boston Dynamics in my hand. <laughs> uh, all right, Phil. Thanks for that. Yeah, that's actually, I made me think about that for a while. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> he just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I got muted, but uh, thanks, guys. Oh, okay. okay. Is Matt, is there okay, anybody thanks. on the hotline? There is. There is indeed. Uh, Batman. 404, you are live on the air. I love Batman. Hotline. 404, you're live. Perry, is that your name? 404, yep. error page, Hello, you guys. are live. Great to talk to you all again. Who's this? How are y'all doing? You know, if you're watching the show, you know. Uh, it sounds like he's from Sweden. Go ahead. Oh, that's true. Um, first of all, Reggie, I yes, know it's sir. been a long time, but uh, uh, I loved Spatial. It was a very revelatory and transforming. So oh, thank you for that. Thank you, man. Um, I don't know what this thank is. You. It was my special. It's special. Oh, Spatial. Spatial. Sorry. Yeah, thank Spatial, you. Yeah. Thank you, man. Uh, Tim, uh, I was recently driving with my father from Atlanta to Birmingham, and he let me play the music. I played him Say Yes and Get Back Down to Me, which are my two favorite songs of yours. Mm. And at the end of it, I told him, you know, that's a Tim Heidecker from Tim and Eric. His immediate reaction was, his songwriting skills have come a long way from Bloody Nips. Ah, yes. Yeah, very very nice. Would that. you give your dad a big that's wet kiss on the lips for me? That's so sweet. I will. That's I'll so give him sweet. one for uh, the entire trinity. <laughs> and my final comment, um, I recently found this out. I am one degree of separation away from the uh, rascal Doug Lusenhop. What? Apparently, he performed in a uh, stand-up show, it was like a stand-up music comedy show in a basement in Atlanta, circa 2013 or so. Doug? Uh, Doug, I'm sure you don't remember it, but my friend Dane says hi. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, Dane how could I forget that? Yeah, I, I think I was with Mikey. And Andre Highland, perhaps on that. Well, there you go. Well, that is fascinating. Yeah, man. Wow. <laughs> and you brought you you brought some really nice right, things to the had. table. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Let's boil down. Thanks, Thanks man. Awesome. Let's boil well, down you the call. All right, Loves man. your special. Dad likes my music. Dane says knows hi. I'm like, somebody that knows Doug. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> That's pretty much. That's it. the Trinity. You're right. <laughs> Great stuff. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Can we do a, can I do my music news real quick? Yes, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Thank you, Vic. Always yeah. angling for that. Always Vic's, angling yeah. for that. N Vic's music news update. You got this some big stuff out there oh, happening great. in the world of yeah, music. What's going on? In the world of music. Yeah. Oh, no, we got another. I'm just going to explain okay. it real quick. Okay. So, uh, legendary rocker um, Frank Stallone, <laughs> he... <laughs> He has. Is that how you describe him? Yeah. The legendary yeah, rocker? Yeah, he's okay. far from over. Mainstay. You know, he's in, uh, taking it back, you know, in the uh -huh. Rocky. Rocky. But oh, he, okay. unfortunately. Little bone from Sylvester yeah. there got Ooh. thrown. Yeah, yeah. And uh, unfortunately, he sent three of his uh, new guitars to some random dude he was talking to <laughs> in England, in Sussex. 
and he wanted that person to scuff him up and make him look old and uh, like age him. Yeah. It's called um, relic. Uh, relic. 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 He relic. wanted his yeah. guitars to look to be relicked, which I had to look up. <laughs> Like, and it means to make them, sc- make them look like they've been played for like years. That's yeah. so oh, man. So like, like fake, the work make them look cheating. fake uh, patina. And, that's cutting right. the also, line. And Stallone, uh, Frank owns a guitar company, so he could just do it himself. But anyway, so he's just hey, talking to this random well, guy. Up to England. England. So he yeah. mailed these three <laughs> guitars to this dude in England, and then that dude just disappeared. <laughs> Oh my God, so that's great! Now he, yeah, so now he's just like as in the fucking North Sea. Three, you go fucking yeah. get it. <laughs> uh, I don't it's, know who the fuck it is. Uh, now it? he's like flipping hey, out on Instagram. Are, check it out. You see how this guitar is? It was actually new. Is it made? And if you send me all your guitars, you have to send all of them. <laughs> I'm gonna take them down to the rocks and give them a little scuff. Yeah, give them a what's what. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like Pete Townsend himself has been playing it for yeah. 20 years. Yeah, that's right. No worries. That's right. No, You're going to love it. Yeah. Bad. Yeah, chip the paint a little bit. Yeah. yeah. We're taking it to Sussex. Yeah. And we'll take it out to Croydon. Yeah. And we'll bring it up to Birmingham. What I'll do is I fucking take it and I drop the fucker. Right? Yeah, right. Just drop it right on the ground. Proper. Proper. Yeah. You get a nice scuff that way. Yeah, right. You get a little belt buckle on the back, you know, ah. so you get that scuff on yeah. it. Love the language. <laughs> Love the language. Yes. Scuff it up. Yes. Yeah, I'll scuff it up. Yeah, Are you the fucking guy from Rocky? Yeah. Oh, no. Oi. No, I'm his brother. <laughs> Oi. Oh. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Send me 900 quid. I'll take care of the scuffish fuck out of it for you. Come out of there. Come out of there. Matt, what did that still say in the top it. there? What did this thing say at the top? He's like flipping out like uh, at that post there. This follow-up post? Yeah, what does that say? Oh, what? he's. this is, seems to be a direct, <laughs> it's directed, to it's directed to Simon. The guy who did this to him. Oh, what does he say? Like, oh, a per, is, is a shout? Is a call out? Yeah. yeah. If you think for one second that you're going to rip my guitars off and get away with it, ask anyone that knows me. <laughs> oh. He's going to Sussex. <laughs> When this hits the worldwide press, you'll oh. never be able to show Nobody. your face. Lamar just picked this up. Front w- page, w- Stallone. W- <laughs> I think this is a good movie idea. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. In a world where guitars were valued by one man, and he took a chance on changing, but it changed him forever. <laughs> I want my scuffed up guitars back. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Fran Tarkington gives you... <laughs> Maybe the guy's still like scuffing him is what I'm thinking. It takes a while. He's he's Dumbo. he's playing him out. He's scuffing it. Yeah. Honest Yeah, scuffing. maybe. Yeah. He's not he, taking sandpaper. He might not be checking his phone all <laughs> He's out there ripping too. gigs it's every night. It's just always like he has like a lineup of musicians that have gigs and it's just <laughs> constantly being yeah. played. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> like at this rate in two months it should age 23 years my by calculation. <laughs> it takes some time. It takes some fucking time. With special appearance. <laughs> was starring Sylvester Stallone. Yo, Frank, I don't know if you should take. I think you just let this one go, okay? Frank, you can't just leave. What are you gonna do about the kids? <laughs> I gotta get my guitars back. Uh, okay, but just come back, okay? Hey, yo, Frank, maybe you gotta like let this be. You know, you should have called me. I'd scuff it up big time. <laughs> Bang, ding. I'll scuff it up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I understand how you get, but uh, you know you might want to reconsider this one. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's not so bad. You know. Uh, yeah, after all, you're not such a great guitar player, anyhow. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going with you. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> oh boy. There it is. <laughs> what was that? It's like somewhere between a, a body punch and a gunshot. <laughs> Body blows. Uh, uh, yeah. How about how in those Rocky movies, how uh, quickly everybody would be dead with the way they're punching oh each other? Oh my god! Totally. <laughs> totally. Brains pounded. <laughs> Classic brain pounder. Yeah. And he's going for the brain pounder. It looks like. Oh, it's a yeah. It's gonna. That's gonna cost him. So it's when life. do you uh, do you have a date on this r- this wrap up with the Corden show? Yeah, I do. Uh, her name's Jennifer. <laughs> no, um, it's, uh, uh, the twenty eighth of been April. A... Oh, well, so we've got a few mo- four months, five, yeah, a few months, months, six months, six months. months. Yeah, and I'm sure you've got things in your head no, that you nothing. Wanna, you've nothing. <laughs> no, <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> no one wants to hire me. Um, I've been banned. Uh, now this was it. This was my last shot at entertainment. After and you this. did it. I'm going into I mean, contracting. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'll make dog houses. You'll do some kind of a um, serious XM show. Uh, probably Paul Schaefer pretty does. serious, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a that was that's a fun run you did yeah, there. No, you know what? It was fun, and, and it was, the thing is about it. It was um, he, you know, when, when I sat down with him, and he was like, "Boy, you should yeah. you want to be like on his show?" Because his accent yeah. for real. Um, and uh, and and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." What's so what's it like? And he's like, "Listen, man." And he actually said this. He was like, "Listen, if you do this, man, you could like." We're going to tape it like four, you know, you'll be done by five thirty. Your car could already be running and you're out of there. <laughs> and no. and that's exactly what happens every day. I show up at three forty five or three fifty. You're not plugging anything. We, in. We, no, we're not plugging anything. In, not anymore. And then I just show up three forty five, three fifty. We start taping at four o'clock. We're done at five thirty wow. and I'm out of there. So Fuck he was actually hundred percent. And he was like, we're only going to do it for five years. So we went eight years. So there we go. That's never a good sign, though, when somebody leads with, it's going to be easy. Don't, it's going to be easy. Anyone could do this. Yeah, anyone could do this. <laughs> I did a show, uh, a, t- a sitcom that, I don't, did I tell the sitcom story? I don't know. If I, I don't think you did. I didn't. Not to me. It didn't me. work out. Not let to me. me. Just, let me just say it didn't work out. Okay. But I was going to do a couple episodes of the show, and uh, they, they, yeah, one of the first things someone says, it's the hours are so great. <laughs> it's pretty... It's pretty. It's it's a light load. Light, I'm like, oh, that's not lift. a good sign for quality. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't want to be, you know, you don't want to get tortured with your work. No, but you got to find that balance. It's fun, man. We're in there. We don't want to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally, totally. But uh, it's work you want to do. It's work you want to do. But you are so much more than just a band leader. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I got, I got, I got some things in the works, but I, you know, like I, my thing is like I want to make more film and video yeah. stuff and some um, immersive, ex- like theatrical experiences. Yeah. You're always like right on the cutting edge of stuff, and now you could. Well, it seems like you've had time all this time to do stuff. <laughs> I, I have, <laughs> like I have. twelve, eleven and a half hours. I've, of I've, t- I've done some stuff, but uh, you know, but I want to like, I want to really get in there and like do more of my own projects. Yeah, you know, and just like be known, more known for that. How did you? You brought your line six, so I'm hoping we can do a little jam with these guys. I did. I brought a lion and six. And maybe... Oh, it's already almost 11. This show's flying by today. Maybe we'll do uh, that after the break. That's okay. Yeah. Um, we'll jam later. But uh, what was your introduction to that, to the looping, to, to your, you know, your signature style that you've now... What 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 was the was there a light bulb moment that said oh whoa this fucking thing is cool? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got I mean I heard there was like uh, I well I guess technically my my jazz voice teacher one of my jazz voice teachers when I went to Cornish College of the Arts in Seattle um, uh, Jay Clayton is her name she used to use a Digitech I think it was a Digitech sixteen second delay or whatever it was called and um, that was kind of a looper. It was a rudimentary right. looper, and you could just keep adding stuff on top of it. So she used to make these atmospheric vocal pieces, and I thought that was really cool. And then I remember someone using a boomerang, um, which also had a looping function right. on it. And then, there, of course, there was the jam man as well, and um, so some friends were using that. And so I was like seeing this looping stuff. But then um, Line 6 came out with the DL4, and I, it was really like I wasn't looking for a looper. The Line Six, really, what I was looking for was a delay pedal because right. I was using a uh, Roland Space Echo RE101. So, the problem with the Space Echo is it uses real tape. If I'm going on the road in Europe, that tape's going to break right. all the time. I'm going to be fixing it. So I was hey, like, Reggie, real quick, yeah. what, what were you? What was your instrument at that time, or what were you running through these effects pedals? Well, that, they're just vocals. Just vocals. Yeah, gotcha. just uh, yeah, just vocals. So you were the singer of a band. I was well, kind of. I was a keyboardist in this jazz band that urged me to get the the Space Echo, or sorry, the the DL4 as opposed to the Space Echo because we were going on tour. And I, I was doing some vocal stuff, but it was mostly keyboard stuff. Um, but when I was doing vocals, it was using the the 101, which I changed to DL4. When I toured in Europe, I we got me and this other guy who did all the effects processing. He got a, a line six two, but then I noticed it had a loop mode in the six o'clock position, and I was like, "Oh, what's that about?" And I started using that to sketch ideas for my band that I was in, yeah. that I was singing with. What's so the really, band? Do we know about this band? Yeah, Mocktube. Mocktube. M A K T U B. Um, yeah, and so I started sketching. I'd be like, "Oh, it kind of sounds like," and then I would sing over it. And, 
Yeah. That, and then and then the band would be like, oh, and they'd start playing. And once they got it, I'd pull the loop out, and then we'd you know, expand. Yeah. And so that's how it started. And then it became like me filling time when the band, when we'd have like these these uh, jam nights or whatever, and the band would take a break. And of yeah. course, I couldn't get off stage. So right, right. I'd stay on stage and just like fill time. And then that became, then that expanded into my own show. Yeah. How did the, how did, when did it occur to you that this could be used as a comedic device? Because you're like in the jazz world. Yeah. I know. Well, you know, I, I mean, I'd, I'd done comedy in high school, so uh, and I loved, I always loved making people laugh, and I was like, always a, I guess you're a, a funny guy. I'm a, I'm a funny guy. You're one of those guys where you're just like, well, he's just kind of funny. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. Just like, just quick. a goofball. I like, yeah. I like goofing. I and like you're goof quick. I goof them ups. Yeah, I, I just loved it. So I did it in high school, and then I was kind of Jones and for it in the mid '90s in Seattle, and I, uh, uh, there would be, oh, I, there was sketch groups. I did two sketch groups with these younger actors who all lived in a yeah. house that were going to the University of Washington. And so became friends with them, did sketch with them, and then an opportunity, then like, you know, the state, or not the state, but Stella, Stella, you yeah. know, came out. I saw those and I was like, oh my gosh, those are my people. Yeah. Then they happened to come to Seattle and then I met them and I met Eugene Merm and Eugene's like, we're doing, invite them up, you know, New York, if you ever want to come, oh, because shit. if you want to come, you know, and then I got a, then I was writing with a band as a temporary lead singer for a year for this band who was based out of New York. So I was in New York and I was like, Eugene, I can, I'm here. Can I play? Did that. Went to the show. They got me the line six DL four. Or I mean, sorry, I brought my line six DL four, plugged it in, did my comedy, whatever the yeah. fuck it is. And uh, people liked it. And so I you just needed that one little connection. Yeah. You meet somebody. I'm sure they're interested to meet you. Yeah. And they're like, cool, come by and do it. Yeah. And that was, and that was it. Everybody was like, all right. You know, it was like, cause you know, we all, we all come from that. It's like, yeah. there was, it was a clubhouse of all these like weirdo, yeah. whatever outsider, whatever alt comedy, whatever you want to call it. But that was like the only place that was happening in New York at that time. And then of course it blew up and everybody yeah. started their own nights. Were you, uh, when you, when I've seen you many times and I got to see you recently oh, right. when at we that, did this show together, yeah, that's right. Very weird show. I know it was a weird show, <laughs> but kind of worked. It worked. Yeah. <laughs> but I just hadn't seen you for a while. It was just so nice to see you do what you do. And I, t I even wrote you, which I don't yeah, often do. I know that was awesome. I just said, wow, Thank you. so great to see, especially after not seeing people for a while. Yeah. And, uh, do you, in the beginning, do you, what, what prep is going into when you go up, or have you always gone up there kind of knowing that it's going to be an improvisational exploration? Uh, it's, it's always no prep. My, no prep. No. I, my, my favorite state is like, especially if it's even like a huge gig or something yeah. like that, like, I'm, I'm like talking to somebody it's like yeah so yeah so you were checking out that uh that Mars mission it was pretty cool yeah it's cool so you grew up in like uh reggie you're on stage like, oh okay yeah so, uh, <laughs> okay I'll, I'll talk to you a little yeah. bit later and then i just walk on stage yeah. like i love not being even remotely close to thinking about the performance until i'm walking to i the know mic. that i know that feeling because it it'll it comes it happens it happens and man. it can't you, there's not much you can do to even prepare for it except be open to it no no it, it, and plus if you've done it like for as many thousands of yeah. hours as you have it's yeah. like that's just kind of what you do yeah you know? i stretch though i like to, i stretch because i, don't I gotta myself i gotta do that i gotta do that because as i get older you yeah. know it's like yeah i can't just do the things that i used to do when i was in my 20s you know? um let's take a we're gonna take a quick break let's do it and then we'll be back and reggie they'll give you a second to maybe yeah. we'll come back to a jam and nice. a little whatever you want to do let you Love have it. no plans and that's what we want okay and then we'll have more calls and more uh, adventures with Ooh, the gang here. Nice. We're going to solve a mystery. Oh, my god! There's a mystery to solve. The Brown Hornet. Hmm. The Brown Hornet. All right, folks. <laughs> see you in a few. Very interesting. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Taste the honey sauce. Taste the goodness of the biscuit with the honey sauce. Don't get that honey sauce on me. I don't like the way it tastes with my chicken wings. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Taste the butter spread. Taste the goodness of the biscuit with the butter spread. To get your butter spread all on me I don't like the way it mixes with my mac and cheese Cause when you're at KFC You got that 